The refer policy header is a relatively new HTTP response header that helps control the leakage of information in URLs as the user travels from one website to another. The refer policy is going to be found in the HTTP response because the server is telling the browser its wishes with regards to refer headers. Ideally, the value for this refer policy should be no refer. This means that when the user goes from a application, such as your application, and browses off to some other app, the browser would not include a refer header in the request that it sends over to this new location that the user is moving to. As an example, let's take one extreme and we'll say that refer policy is essentially disabled, meaning the refer header is going to be sent. So the user starts off here on our site and they click a link that would take them out to YouTube. So they click this link. In response, the browser creates a request for YouTube. But you'll notice that there is a refer header inside of this request. And up until recently, that's how browsers work by default. However, let's say that our site has a refer policy and that policy is no refer. So the same situation happens again. The user clicks on the link to YouTube, but now look at the request that goes out to YouTube. There is no refer header whatsoever. And the reason is, is the browser was instructed prior in that first response from their website not to send any refer headers. And this helps prevent leakage or possibly even privacy information being leaked in the URL heading over to the new site. Because what the refer does is it tells the new site where the user came from. But since URLs can contain sensitive data in the parameters, this can leak sensitive information. So let's take a look at the header in action. So here in our application Matilda, we're in security level zero. And so we're gonna have the unsafe setting. Let's take a look at the headers. So we'll use the live headers plugin. And we'll just browse to the home page so we can see what the response headers are. And here's the response headers. And we slowly look down them and eventually see there's refer policy is unsafe URL. We browse to YouTube, generate that request. And now we'll go look at the request and the response in Burp Suite to see what happened. So if we go to the history and go to the last request. Right here in the request, we'll see the refer header, and we can see it a little bit more clearly if we look at the request headers. Here's the refer, and here's the value. Now we're going to put Matilda into security level 5, which implements all the proper security headers. Browse to the home page to redo the demo. And let's take a look at live HTTP headers. So here we can see the refer policy has changed and it's now a policy of no refer. Again, 
We'll browse to the same site. And let's go back to YouTube and YouTube uh, in Pro Suite, and let's watch and see what happened this time around. So here's the request. Let me take a look at the request, and there's no referrer header. And then again, if you look over in the inspector and look at the request headers, we can again see that there's no referrer header at all. So the referrer policy is working as we would like, and it's preventing the browser from revealing the previous URL that we were on before we moved on to the new site.